Kelly McDonald brings over 20 years of marketing and advertising insight to organizations interested in building relationships with the growing U.S. Latino population. An expert on Hispanic culture and trends, Kelly has developed campaigns with some of the world's leading advertising agencies for both Latino and non-Latino consumers. Kelly's clients include Toyota, Bank One, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and Budweiser, helping them reach Latinos emotionally, intellectually, and with cultural relevance. Here's what some of Kelly's audience members have said about her speaking engagements. Please welcome Kelly McDonald. Hi, buenas tardes. Anybody? I know I'm not what you expect when you think of Latino marketing. You were at least expecting somebody with brown hair named Gonzalez, right? Prior to starting my own company, I was director of client services for one of the top Latino ad agencies in the country. And at this Latino ad agency, we had four core values. Two were in Spanish and two were in English. The first was ganas, which means passion. The second was adelante, which means always keep going. The third was Latino pride, and the fourth was diversity. And at this company, I was diversity. <laughs> I'm gonna to talk to you about why Latinos are a marketer's dream. I don't care if you have a product, a service, or if you have employees, the Latino market delivers the three L's, large, lucrative, and loyal, which is what everybody who has anything to sell or anything to make really wants. We want a large enough audience to sell our products and services to. We want them to be able to afford our products and services, and preferably frequently. And we want them to keep coming back and being loyal cu customers and consumers. The Latino population is exploding. I didn't get a chance to change this chart, but any of you who saw the news last week know that now the uh, census number has revised their number again, and it's now 38.8 million Latinos living in the United States. Okay? And if you think that you're hearing more Spanish being spoken around you and you're seeing more Latinos, and you think that's a big thing now, look at where it's going. Okay? So this is the most largest and fastest growing population in the country. Now, if you're like me, I have a hard time getting my head around 38.8 million people. How many is that? There are more Latinos residing in the United States right now than there are Canadians in Canada. Sizable market, wouldn't you say? And it's not just California and Texas. A lot of people think, well, you know, I mean, that's that whole California and Texas thing, you know. Uh, but every single state in the union experienced a double-digit growth in the Latino population in the last 10 years. And uh, here in Illinois, it's 69%. Uh, by, by 2020, one in five people in the United States will be Latino. The other reason that marketers care about this is that the Latino population is the youngest of all populations, by far. The average white person in this country is pushing 40. The average Latino is not even 30, which means several things. Their greatest income earning years are still ahead of them, and their greatest consumption year years are still ahead of them. It's their first apartment, it's their first couch, it's their first washer and dryer, it's their first insurance policy, it's their first crib. It's everything, it's a first. They're setting up their households, they're setting up their lives as consumers. And also, the time to form brand preferences is now, before they're entrenched with another brand. Latinos are far more brand loyal than non-Latinos. And they're far less fickle. If they're satisfied with the product or service, they don't see any reason to change. And Latinos, more than non-Latinos, are more likely to buy the brands and products that their friends and families buy. In fact, they believe that it's risky to buy a new brand that you're not familiar with. So how do you make them familiar with you? How do you tap into this large, lucrative, loyal market? You start by putting the welcome mat out. Strategy number one is to assess your high potential prospect using the model that I provided for you. Again, I spoke to someone at the break just now who sells and specializes in entry-level homes. I believe, I may be making this up, I believe she said homes under 80,000 80, or? 
100,000 entry level homes. So again, for you, if that's what your core competency is and your core product, you're going to have a very specific level of acculturation. You're probably not going after the cultural integrateds, and you may not even be after, you might be after the cross cultures, but that would be a first time buyer. You know, and you certainly have an opportunity with the left-hand side of the model. We've talked about the dangers of doing a straight translation from English into Spanish. Transcreation is a way of taking a message and putting cultural relevance and cultural insights behind it so that you know that this message is made just for you and nobody else, just for you. Now, what would that mean to you? How do you think you'd feel about the brand or product or service that talks to you that way? You'd feel like they put the welcome mat out for you you'd feel like a valuable customer. Why would you do business with anyone else? You can't have this kind of profound population shift in this country without it affecting culture. What is culture? It's food, music, language, entertainment, politics. It's all of those things. It's a hard thing to, to define, but you know it when you see it. Here's some fun little facts about how the Latino population is shaping our culture. As of 2001, tortillas now outsell bagels in this country two to one. I'm from Dallas, and so I think it's like 2,000 to 1 in Texas. <laughs> ah, speaking of Texas, Jose was the number one name for baby boys born in Texas last year. Bilingual children's books are the fastest growing segment of the book business, and they're taking American classics like Curious George and The Cat in the Hat and making them bilingual for bilingual children being raised in this country. The top three surnames for new home buyers in California in 2001, as reported by the Wall Street Journal, were Hernandez, Fernandez, and Gonzalez. And I think if you can buy a new home in California, you can buy anything. <laughs> How do companies and brands respond? The smart ones are creating products and services for Latinos. They're not just taking the Tide detergent and slapping the you know, Spanish on the side of the box and putting directions in Spanish and saying, okay, check Hispanic off the list. They're creating products and services specifically for this market. Here's some examples. Mattel. Everybody knows Mattel. Mattel makes Quinceanera Barbie, Spanish teacher Barbie, and Capitan Benavides, which is the little G.I. Joe. A Quinceanera is when a girl turns 15. It's like a sweet 16 party, but she's 15, and it's a big deal. Hispanic families have been known to spend twenty or $30,000 on their daughter's Quinceanera. It's like a wedding. It's her day. So if Barbie is an aspirational toy, and there's Dr. Barbie and Surfer Barbie, then why wouldn't they have Quinceanera Barbie? But my favorite is Spanish teacher Barbie because she's the only one that talks. You put your finger in her back, and she says, five, cinco, hi, hola. But the cool thing is how they're marketing on the side of the box. On the side of the box it says, I like speaking Spanish because speaking Spanish lets me make twice as many friends. Folks, marketing to Latinos is like where the internet was 10 years ago. And like the internet, it's not going away. It's not a fad. You're going to learn about it. And you're going to learn about it now, or you're going to learn about it later, but you are going to learn about it, just as you've had to learn about the internet and how to use that in your business. Effective marketing to Latinos is the wave of the future. It is el futuro. It will grow your business. Your business will prosper. And I ask you to think about your future now. Gracias, buena suerte, good luck, adelante.